Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video has been highly requested by you guys and that is for a bridal makeup tutorial. So I figured there's no better time than now because I am getting married this weekend. I can't even believe that I'm saying that. I am just over the moon happy. So, so happy. So obviously this isn't my jewelry or my dress or my hair style. This was kind of just thrown together today to make it kind of look like a bridal tutorial, if you know what I'm saying. But on the actual day, I am getting my makeup done by this awesome girl, Courtney, who I will link her Instagram down below. That's actually how I found her. I honestly just didn't want to do my hair or makeup that day because I want to feel like a mother princess. But anyways, while this is not the actual look of my wedding day, it's a different version for a wedding day thing. If you guys are getting married or attending a wedding or in the wedding or you just wanted to see this look or get this look, just keep watching. Taking Benefit's Instant Comeback Facial Serum, I'm just going to smooth that all over my face. And taking Benefit Stay Don't Stray, I'm going to smooth that all over my lid. Taking the color Heaven from the Too Faced Natural Eye Palette, I'm just going to pack that onto my lid. Then taking Velvet Revolver, I'm going to work that color into my crease with a small brush. You just want to keep building up that color, adding more product slowly, and just making sure there are no harsh lines, really blending it into that crease. Taking the color Sexpresso, we're going to work that on the outer corner of the crease with that same brush, just to deepen the color up more. And you're going to want to blend that out with a big fluffy brush. Taking that same color Heaven, we're just going to work that under the brow bone to lighten it up and then put that on the lid as well. Then take the color Classic and pop that right under the brow bone. Next, take the color Nude Beach and pop that onto the lid to add some shimmer. And then begin to blend that all out. Taking NYX's eyeliner in Jet Black, just start creating a small line on the outer corner of your eyelid, working your way in. This doesn't have to be perfect because we will be smudging it out. Just like this. The line is definitely going to get thicker as you smoke it out and that is totally fine. And you're just going to want to work that color towards the inner part of your eye. Next you're going to curl your lashes and take L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara and work that onto your lashes. We're going to use our Dell's Double Up 205 lashes and pop those right onto our lids. These are fantastic lashes. They're so thick and really make your eyes pop. Then use mascara to just blend that all together and let it dry. Once the mascara is dry, start pinching the lashes to the falsies. Taking that same eyeliner, just line the inner part of your lid. With L'Oreal's Miracle Blur, we're just going to smooth that onto the skin helps with pores and fine lines. Taking Benefit's Professional, we're also going to put that onto our face as our primer. Taking Estee Lauder's Double Wear, we're going to put that onto the skin with a stippling brush. So just pack it on and then use circular blending motions. I like to set my foundation with a makeup setting spray, especially on days where you really want your makeup to last. I'm using Urban Decay Makeup Setting Spray, the all-nighter one, and then I'm just going to blend that in um, with my Beauty Blender. As always, make sure your Beauty Blender is damp whenever you use it. Taking Stay Don't Stray, once again I'm going to put that under my eyes and around my nose, basically where I'm putting the most concealer. That way it really helps the concealer stay in place. You can blend that in with your Beauty Blender too, it doesn't have to be perfect because we are putting concealer over top. This is Max Pro Longwear and we are just going to dot that under the eyes, on the nose, on the forehead, and a little bit on the chin. 
Taking Max Prep and Prime and Light Boost, we're just going to draw some lines under our eyes. I know I look crazy. Then we're going to start blending that out with a beauty blender. The Light Boost just really adds some highlight to the face and that is definitely something we want for pictures on our wedding day. I really love the way that the Pro Longwear Concealer and the Prep and Prime work together. It just makes a very beautiful finish on your skin. Make sure you cover up any red marks or acne. And then taking Airspun Loose Face Powder, we're going to pat that onto the skin and we will blend that out later. Taking Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder, we're going to use our Beauty Blender and pat that under our eye to make sure our concealer is set and will not crease. Then we're going to take a big fluffy brush and blend out that Airspun Loose Face Powder. This really helps set all of your foundation and concealer in place. Taking the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, I'm using the color Subconscious and Shadow Play, and we're just going to start contouring our cheekbones, starting from the top of the ear and down. And make sure you're blending that up rather than downwards, because we really want that line to be pretty sharp. I've raved about this palette before in my other videos, and I'm still loving it. It's super blendable, and the colors are so beautiful. Then we're going to work that color on our temples and up into our hairline. Taking the color Sombre, we're just going to work that on the outer part of our contour towards the top of our ears to deepen that color up. Just going to carefully blend that out with a big fluffy brush. Using a small brush, we're going to start contouring our nose with those colors Shadow Play and Subconscious. We're just going to start making lines on either side of our nose and then working that up towards the eyebrows so it really all blends together quite seamlessly. Make sure you contour the tip of the nose as well. Also make a small line just above the tip of the nose on the bridge. Taking the color Lyric, we're going to pat that under our eyes. This is a great highlighting color. It really brightens up the under eye. And we're also going to take that and work it down the nose, up into the forehead, and also onto the chin. Taking the excess color on our contour brush, we're just going to start really defining that jawline. And we're also going to define our chin as well. I like to work it down around the bottom just to make it a little bit more defined. Taking the lighter color in Sun Bunny, we're going to work that on top of our contour and also on our nose. This will give us a bronze glow. Taking Max Blush in Margin, we're just going to work that onto the apples of our cheeks and then blend that out towards our contour. This will really make everything blend really well. Taking Hard Candy's Honeymoon, as usual, this is my favorite. I'm going to highlight the tops of my cheeks. Down the center of my nose, as well as my cupid's bow, and using any excess above my eyebrows. Taking NYX's Eyebrow Shaper, we're just going to smooth down our hairs and then use a spoolie to brush the hairs up. Taking Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Medium Brown, I'm just going to do my brows. This is sped up, obviously. I do have an eyebrow tutorial that I will link down below that is more in-depth for you guys. Taking Benefit's Gimme Brow, I'm just going to work that onto the hair to make it look thicker and also smooth the hairs down. Taking NYX's Lip Liner in Nude Pink, I'm just going to line my lips. Taking Revlon Matte Balm Color Burst in the color Elusive, I'm just going to put that onto my lips. 
added shine, I'm using NARS Turkish Delight and just placing that on top of the lipstick. Almost forgot about the under eye, I'm using Velvet Revolver on a small brush to line the bottom lash line. Then taking Jet Black again, we're just going to line the outer part of our lower waterline. In NYX's Jumbo Eye Pencil and Yogurt, we're just going to line the inner part of our lower lash line and blend it towards that other darker color. Pop on some mascara and then spray everything with a makeup setting spray once again and then you are all set.